Integrating vCenter into Enterprise Manager is easy. First, we click on Servers. We right-click and select the Register Server to add vCenter into Enterprise Manager. We select the ESX option and then type in our vCenter IP address or host name. We type in the associated username for vCenter and that vCenter username's password and then we click on Finish. Once it's registered, you can see the vCenter server has been added to inventory. We can now dig down and look at a volume that we've presented to that host, including historical usage, the virtual machines on that data store, the virtual disks associated with those virtual machines on that data store, the replays or backups that we've taken of that data store, and the connectivity of that data store to the ESX host. Next, let's view some extended information about that data store. As you can see in the left-hand column, all of the standard volume information, mappings, virtual machine information, and all the replications. If you'll notice, the storage configured shows thin provisioning in that it, ESX has only written 72.76 gigs to the data store. Including the snapshot overhead, it's only consuming 178 gigs of storage. Next, let's provision a new data store. We right click and say create volume. We type in a name, for example, NV for normal volume, LUN 101, and VMFS data store. We can type in anything in here, it's just a label. We now put in the size, let's say 750 gig, and we select the ESX host that we want to present it to, for example, Avalon. We can now click on the advanced mapping, and this is where I can specify a LUN number or let the system automatically assign. I can choose a controller or to map it to a specific port, but I'll let it do it automatically, and I click Next. Next, I change the replay profile to a predefined replay schedule to back up my virtual machines and click Next. I verify the data store name. I also verify the block size of the VMFS data store I want and then I click OK. This begins the process of automatically creating that data store for me. Once that's finished, we can see the volume in the storage center. When we flip over to the vCenter client, we can also see the data store has been added automatically for us, ready to provision or deploy virtual machines.